Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Batman Arkham Asylum. So, in the last video, uh, shortly after failing this moment of gameplay right here, Scarecrow there didn't just uh, hijack Batman's life by, um, you know, kind of brutally poisoning him and forcing him to have this uh, weird, I don't know, mental breakdown or something like that, but he actually ended up hacking my game! and forced the game to crash, so <laughs> that was kind of interesting. I haven't played this part here since, um, can, can I, can I dodge? You don't just dodge. How do I avoid that thing? Use the middle stick to dodge Joker's gunfire. I did use the middle stick. Oh, unless that was supposed to happen? R.I.P. Bruce Wayne. Oh, that totally was supposed to happen. We, we, we were just killed before I thought there wasn't a way to look around like the game just wasn't working at all and it was being silly uh, hello oh that's me hey me how's it going I'm, I'm all <laughs> crazy look at Batman poor little guy poor little bat he's crying like a a poor little child left all alone he doesn't have it he doesn't have his cape so we get to see his uh nice manly bat butt as he, uh, walks around right there. Seriously, um, we are covered in, like, dirt and grime. But yeah, B Batman, he really, he, he really should stop wearing the cape. I mean, obviously that would get rid of his ability to glide, but he doesn't really show off his nice little, uh, bat butt in, in those undies or whatever. Speaking of which, I love this kind of superhero design, but it's so, and people have talked about this a lot, of course, but it's so silly how... They always wear their underwear on the outside of their, their pants. Having a nice little snack there, Batman. Um... Are there any bats that eat rats? <laughs> Look at Batman, he's holding his eyes. He's like, oh god, I remember that drunk night when I did that. That was, uh, an unfortunate circumstance. This calls for the line launcher! Okay, that was actually probably a little bit close than I should have called it. Hey, Scarecrow, how's it going? Please don't be too much of a bully. I think this is actually the last Scarecrow event in the game, so hopefully we'll be able to do this well, uh, or, or succeed in this right off the bat and, and not have any fail states. Oh no, he's spawning the evil skeletons! Come on, Blaze, how's it going? There's uh, that dummy once again. Again, actually forgetting his name, but whatever. We're just gonna beat up all these skeletons. Um, because, I don't know, sucks there, Asmar, nobody likes him. What were they actually- uh, I, they, If I remember correctly, they actually should, uh, like, when they flash, they appear as people, I think? Are they gonna appear as guards, or are these just, like, inmates that we're actually fighting right here? I would hope it'd be inmates, so we wouldn't be messing up any of our dudes. Really, the, 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 there aren't, um, really skeletons walking around, of course. Batman just edited his, uh, detective vision a little bit, so now... Now they're... they're the, the, the blue marker is no longer there, they're just pure skeletons, because... You know, Batman loves beating up skeletons. Okay... Oh, come on, game! It crashed again? Well, that's frustrating. Alright, um, I'll be back before too long, then. See you guys in a bit. Alright, we're back everyone. Lucky enough for me, the game was actually kind enough to, uh, bring me back basically exactly where we left off, so luckily there shouldn't be any problems here with that. We've got really far to run here! That sucks. We don't have to get all the way across, but we have to make it to, uh, this little thing. And actually, that turned out to be a lot easier than I thought it would be. I, I, I thought, uh, we were like, good. Uh, uh, have a real rush on our hands or something like that, but luckily it wasn't that bad. So, Scarecrow, he's being a big old jerk. I don't know why he keeps attacking our game, but it's not really making me happy. He's gonna zap Batman over there! Oh, that was close. That was close. I almost handled that in a very poor way. Is there any way we could stop this? Like, save ourselves or something? Oh, God. Okay, that was way too close. Uh to count, I, I suppose, or something like that. Can I? So I, I, I can't shoot anything at Scarecrow. I want to stop him from being such a, such a jerkwad to Batman there. He's going on us like a, 
Victor Zaz style in, in the, uh, the, like the first time we saw him in the game. So mean. Whatever, okay, apparently we're just gonna leave ourselves to, to rot and die because... I mean, Batman, he, he's never nearly as, as uh, kind and caring to himself as, as he should be, so... I guess this is just um, a good old example of that. He's like, come on, Batman, climb! Thank you, thank you, my good sir. He's uh, the kind of guy who's basically like, oh, okay, if someone, someone else is in danger, um, I'll save them, of course. Oh, thank you for being the fastest man alive! For a second there, I thought we were going to be in trouble. Um, but when I, but if he's himself is in trouble and somehow has a, an ability to save himself, like if you know the DC universe is full, or just co like superhero comics in general are full of alternate universes and stuff like that. I guess this is just a case where, oh no no no, okay okay okay, are we actually gonna be good? No! Ah, uh, I didn't know that. Um, you failed. I, I I thought we actually were like supposed to try to um jump up as fast as we could when when that right bumper thing came appeared, like I thought if I didn't press it immediately that I was going to die. Obviously, I was wrong about that. But as I was saying, comic books in general have a uh, like a all like a million different alternate universes. So I guess Batman's just one of those guys who's like, eh, if I ran into uh, an alternate universe version of myself, I'd, I'd let him rot. Who cares about him anyways, he's just a big old jerkwad. Okay, so then we should go up now, I presume, and this one will fall? No, it won't, actually. We should just crouch then, I think. Uh, I think we would have been okay if we went ahead and did that. So run, let's stop right here, since I don't think he should be able to spot me. And then we'll wait for him to look to his left once again. Suck it, boy! Whoa, what the hell is this? No! No, we don't need no more! Oh, Scarecrow, you jerk one! <laughs> Batman, all you needed to do was punch him in his face and everything would have been okay, but you ruined it! Oh no. Where are we going? Okay, so now's boss time. Not really. <laughs> I mean, it's cool and fun and all, you're giving me a rather extra, uh, abstract world, and if there's one thing I love in video games, it's exploring abstract worlds, but it's a little bit too many radioactive skeletons here with, with swords, too. Nobody, like, uh, skeletons, I could have a fun time with skeletons, but not radioactive ones. We need, like, Superman in here because it looks like they've got a kryptonite in their chest. It's like, actually, what's that? What's that one supervillain name? I, I feel like his name is has something to do with machines or mechanics or something like that. Um, the the guy who oh do I punch your arm? Oh no, okay, okay, that was interesting. Is this like the god of? Oh my god, we're about to fight S K from um or Skeleton King from from Dota two. Because there is no Wraith King, there is only Skeleton King. Uh, you, you, you try to tell me Wraith King and you're, you're just wrong. He doesn't exist, uh, and he never will. <laughs> I'm not too fond of Wraith King, he was, he was cooler when he was a skeleton. Or cooler when he didn't have any ghostly flesh. Oh no! Okay, so we get an army of uh, little guys and then one big man as well. Luckily we're actually, uh, we've almost eliminated Probably like close to half of the basic skeletons, but it does also kind of look like they're still showing up. Batman, you foolish fool! Your invincibility frames weren't timed properly. Everything could have been okay, but you didn't want to do things right. Okay, um, so big guy's dead. Luckily, surprisingly enough, the big skeletons uh, are capable capable of dying in less hits than these small ones. So. <laughs> Which is kind of silly. I mean, most of the small ones have been going down in one hit, but they've also just taken um, less than one hit before. Eat my dust, you skinny, pathetic little man. Yeah. How are you doing this? What the hell? Oh, he's you on the other side of the walkway. Okay, I see. Batman insane. What are you? I'm the Batman, Why fight it, Batman, mother trucker. You're as crazy as the rest of us. 
You need us as much as we need you. And to prove it, I'll flood the catacombs with enough fear gas to break the minds of everyone in Gotham for a hundred years. I thought we fought three big guys. No, we only fought two. Yeah, so those are the two big guys dead. So does that mean that Batman killed, like, that these big guys died by because Batman threw a single batarang into their face like you usually do, and then they just ran into a wall and got knocked unconscious? That's how I'm gonna imagine that went down, just because that's how it went down when they're freaking skeletons, so... Kinda silly. Game's being a little framey today, I don't know what's up with that, hopefully it'll get better. Scarecrow really loves his package. He likes to fondle his package and give him a nice little rub as we're seeing right there. Personally, I think it's a little a little strange and bizarre, and I wish he wouldn't do it in public, but you can never you can never get too mad, uh mad at a man, especially when he has uh, an, as nice of a package as that. So Batman's just gonna fall uh to his death, but luckily he's a smart guy, so he's gonna be okay. So what's down there? Killer Croc cell. I thought he said killer's croc cell. I was like, what? What are you talking about, weirdo? Oh, whoa! What the hell is- Someone's been stalking me. Is this Hugo Strange? Um... Be I, I came in here before, I just didn't notice that it was all the Batman photos. This must be Hugo Strange, right? Oh shoot, is that at the beginning? Yeah, that's at the beginning of this game with the with the Joker. Unless that's like Harley Quinn and this is her plan set up here. If anyone knows what this room is, actually please please tell me because I I I am surprised I actually don't know the lore about this. I, like I have mentioned before though, um I actually know a lot more of the lore in Arkham City than I do in this game right here, so, um, uh, so, yeah, I, I would have to guess that that's Hugo Strange who's setting stuff in there, but I also wouldn't imagine Hugo Strange would be one to live in, like, a frickin' cave that he has to crawl through, uh, ventilation shafts to be able to access, <laughs> like, feel like that'd be a little bit bizarre, um, how do I follow Mr. Scarecrow? Um, I don't go down this hole, do I? Hey, it's the chair the guy used. The the other dude. Um, okay, looks like I possibly go through here. It'd be nice if the game stopped uh, being so framey. S we do have to go down, down there? How do I get down there? He, like, closed off the, the area. Oh, maybe we have to, uh give these guys a, a good old hello or something like that. Okay, so one of them has a machine gun. He should be taken down easily with this thing, so let's actually just get started with that. No, it didn't work! I thought that worked with technology in general. Maybe it is just the callers then. Don't be a jerk and punch me. Blow up! Oh my god. Okay, well the game is being silly. We could at least get that dude. Did we not, like, spray it in time? Maybe that's what happened. Maybe we, we didn't properly, uh, spray the stuff and they punched me too quick. Because I have no idea why... Oh, those are the B guys, okay. I, I have no idea why that thing wasn't exploding when I was clicking it. Because it is left trigger and the bumper in this game. Or, uh, yeah, this one, rather than the first one. I was actually pressing, uh, the right combination this time. As opposed to my usual when I mess up like a uh, complete dongleberry. So now presumably we'll need to use the uh, cryptographic sequencer up here? If I was to love you, guess. And make my voice really high pitched. Bada bada bing bong. Okay. Treat me right, cryptographic sequencer. Oh, yes! Oh, treat me right. Oh my god! We are too good! We are too good. Now we just need to do good again. Okay, so that's really good. Yes! Oh my god, my skills have gotten too strong! Far too strong. That that was actually a really, really easy run with that thing. Makes me happy. Because usually those things can be very, very tense. I hate those things so much. So, Scarecrow, my... 
Uh, excuse me, my main man, my brother from another mother. We're gonna come and make your life a living hell. None of those guys have collars, so the Batarang thing shouldn't work. Can I- Yeah! I was hoping I'd be able to jump on one of the dude's heads. Didn't knock him out, of course, but, you know, it incapacitated him, and that's a good start. I like how these guys are right next to- Oh, they haven't even tried to break them open? What is wrong with these guards? You would think they would break open those, uh, weapons barracks, like, right off the bat. No! That is a bad, bad, uh, inmate. No made weapons of hatred for you. I don't like you. Okay, we're getting a little bit in the danger zone, but I think we're going to be okay, especially if there's only three of them left. Really, one of the things that I really like about this game is that more often than not, basically how many ever units you're fighting, you should really, like, decrease the number of them that you're fighting by one. Because, uh, for most of the fight, one of those guys is gonna be on the floor, you know? Like, um, in that little, like, stunned period. There was really only one gun in each of these things. That's kind of silly. <laughs> you would think they'd be more stocked for being, like, um, I don't know, like a, a, a weapon stock and all that. Alright, I, I, oh, no, actually, I, I was gonna guess that they're, oh, hey, Killer Grok, how's it going? Oh, uh, look at his- look at his pretty fingernails. They- they've been, like, permed? I don't know, is that the term for when you get, like, nail polish work? Oh, there's his collar, too. Interesting. I like these close-up on- close-ups on his eyes. I know he's got reptile eyes, but I feel like that's a little bit unnecessary. Hands off my locker. Interesting. Is that Killer Croc's locker? That's why I labeled it. Or put his photo onto it. I don't know, pretty obviously not, I would imagine, but... Oh, uh, there was something over here, I think. Wasn't there something that said press A? Oh, maybe it was just a climb. Batman being a weirdo. Whatever, let's go ahead and grab this thing and mosey on along. Um, obviously I'm not getting all the, uh, Riddler trophies in, in this Let's Play, but, um, that'll help me in my free time. Crocodile! What? Awful, uh, intestine, tripe, leftovers, blank, blank, crocodile. Is that- that's not a thing! I have no idea what that's about. This- oh my god. Oh, so this is where they feed him! Is that a thing? No, it's not. They've got a lot of- like, they've got really big meat chunks in there. Like, I- I know you gotta keep yourself fed. I thought that was a wall that could be destroyed. I know you gotta keep yourself fed and all, especially if you're a giant crocodile beast. But I feel like even that is a uh, amount that should, like, feed him for, like, a freaking week. Okay, so we could increase the power, or we could go for armor. Let's get power. You know, ma- Nice. I like that image. That's really funny. I think it probably makes a lot of sense to, um, just make sure that we get, uh, uh here is actually, um, an interview tape. I think it makes a lot of sense that we just go ahead and finish off the combat ones first. I love walking through cobwebs in this game. Batman is not strong enough to walk through this cobweb. What is up with- what's up with that? <laughs> this cobweb is too powerful for me. Oh my god, can I throw a battering through it? I could throw a battering around it. That is really silly. I like that. Is that actually just like Spider-Man webs or something? And they're they're actually like made of concrete or whatever it is Spider-Man uses? I don't know, I don't remember. Whatever, let's go ahead and uh, listen to this interview tape. Probably Killer Croc, if I had to imagine. <laughs> She was talking about the bad, like, pun, or the, the bad comeback, not, not his, uh, not him zapping Killer Croc. Well, that took a while to end. It was just like silence for the last while. 
It's like the doctor lady really didn't like Cash, so after he said that last bit, she just, like, left the tape recorder playing for a bit, like, just giving him this evil glare. Oh, shoot! Cutscene! If I remember correctly, this is a cutscene that really confuses me in the world of this game, as, as we'll see later. Too late, Batman. One step closer, and this goes into the water. The cave will fill with your deepest, darkest nightmares, and you will never reach your precious venom roots. <laughs> <laughs> Batman don't care. He's just gonna keep on walking. What confuses me about that is, I guess Killer Croc just dropped Crane when he was in the water, but how does, how do, how is Crane alive? How do he survive that? How is he in the later games? I don't know. There's a little bag. Can I scan the bag? Oh, come on, game. That should totally be a Riddler thing. This is Arkham City. That would be a Riddler trophy. Um, but, uh, as I was saying, how did Killer Croc, like, not eat him? Oh, was Batman trying to get the spores from, like, that plant or something? Interesting. I don't know what's up with that. What's up with that? Oh, what's up with that? Um, alrighty, Rue. Let's go ahead and grab that Riddler trophy over there. There's a platform right there. But do we need to go over here besides just collecting this thing? I would imagine not, but... Ah, nice. Got another challenge unlocked. I don't know if I'll ever play the challenges in this game. Just because I prefer Arkham City so much, I would just probably just play uh, the ones in Arkham City. Plus, Arkham City has Joker's uh, Fun House, and, and that is my favorite one of all the, the challenges because it's, it's really difficult. It's definitely one of the most difficult ones in regards to uh, ranking up like the high scores and stuff. And you get to freaking fight the Joker in it. And actually, now that I think about it, uh, be besides all, uh, f be besides the final boss version of Joker in this game, when, uh, spoilers alert, but this game's been out forever, so it doesn't really matter, when he's, like, hulked out Joker and all that. Besides that, do we ever fight the Joker? I don't think we do. We, we never fight him in Arkham City, um, because Batman, when the fight- Oh, what's up, lady? I'm close to Croc's lair. I'll contact you when I have more information. I'm not in Croc's lair? So we just got out then, I imagine? Okay, so if that's a door we can open, then let's actually go back and see what was over here. I thought this was part Croc's lair, but... Granted, that would actually, um... It, it, would, it didn't really have much fanfare. Oh, I'm heading oh. into Croc's lair to collect the plants. Ah, okay, here we go. He's in some kind of old sewer network. Send me the schematics. It's like a maze down here. There's nothing on record. Bruce, are you sure about this? Sounds like a suicide mission. I've got no choice. I've tuned the scanner to detect the spores required to make the antivenom. It'll lead me straight to them. What about Croc? Croc's just an animal. And animals just need traps and the right bait. I'll be fine. I thought Batman I'll was gonna say... Oh, wait. I thought Batman was gonna say, Croc's just an asshole. He's gonna be like, God, I hate Killer Croc. It's just an annoying jerk. I could beat him any day. But anyways, uh, in regards to beating him and dealing with him, let me check out this gloriously large bat symbol. Um, but we'll have to uh, deal with him in the next video because I'm, you know, we're at that 25 minute mark. As usual, this is going to be it for the day. So anyways, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, a comment, and or subscribing if you have not. I am the Egg Scrambled Gamer, and I will see you all next time. After I test it, we could detonate this. Now is not the time. No, oh, okay, Batman just doesn't want to do it. He's a silly man. Alright, see you guys in the next one.